Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to go over what I think is the best way to ship shoes that you sold on eBay or wherever else that do not have boxes like these ones. So I just sold these ones today. So this is the process. What you are going to need is a scale like this one. I'll link it down below. You only need the scale if you want to uh, print the postage off at your house and take care of everything here, which I recommend because if you buy postage through eBay, you get a nice little discount rather than going to the post office, doing it there, which takes longer in my opinion, and it's gonna cost you more money. So this is the best and most efficient way to ship shoes that, like I said, do not have boxes. So here we go. Other than the scale, for my method, you're gonna need a little bit of bubble wrap and then two of these bubble mailers. You can get them free from UPS. You can also get them from USPS. I got a ton from UPS. Uh, you can also buy them from like Walmart, Target, wherever. And then you can also get these guys free from USPS. I'll put the link down below. You just go on to uh, the USPS website and these are actually called I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there, you can see it says Shoebox August 2015. So these are actually made to ship shoes, which obviously works perfect because we're shipping shoes. This is what the final product's gonna look like after we have everything packaged up and ready to go. You can also see the shipping labels right here. So this thing is ready to either be dropped off at the post office or you can actually schedule a pickup and have them come and pick up whatever you got which is a good idea if you have a bunch of things to ship to save yourself a little bit of time. But for now, let's go ahead and go through the process. There's one more thing I forgot that you definitely need if you're gonna package up everything at home. And that, my friends, is a tape gun such as this one. You can get these at Walmart, probably Target. I got this one from a website called Uline, but you can get them from a lot of different places. Even get them from Amazon, this might be your best bet. All the shipping supplies that I'm using in this video, this tape gun included, I will put links in the description below. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. First step is to tape up one side of your shoe box. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Fold in the sides. All right, there we go. Make sure everything is sealed up nice and tight so it's not gonna open up on you when it's in the USPS truck. Once you do that, one side's good to go. Make sure, obviously, you leave one side open so you can put the shoes in there. What I like to do is take both of these bubble mailers and put them in the box Put one in the box like that, and then we'll take the other one and put it the opposite way, like. Like that, so when you're done, it should look something like that. And the purpose of doing that is it gives you nice little added protection on all sides of the box, so that hopefully the shoes don't get damaged in transit to the customer. After you do that, I like to take the bubble wrap, rip off a sheet and put it at the bottom. So, then we'll take another sheet, rip it off and shove this one at the bottom as well. And the purpose of doing that is to once again, just add a little bit more protection to the bottom. And that is what it's gonna look like. You can see the bubble wrap just bunched up at the bottom, or hopefully you can see that. So now we got all the sides padded and the bottom padded. And the next step is take your shoes, make sure they're ready to go, and go back to the bubble wrap, rip off another sheet, ball it up, and I like to shove it in the shoe as close to the toes you can get. Then we'll take another sheet and do the same thing with the other shoe. The purpose of doing that is to try and protect 
this part of the shoe as much as you can so it doesn't get all creased up during the shipping process. So after you do that, take one shoe. I usually take the left one first and then turn it like this. And then we're just gonna slide it in on this side. And once that one's in there, you take this one, flip it around the other way, and you slide it in just like that. So that's what it's gonna look like once you're done. These shoes are pretty small. This is a men's size nine, I believe. So not the biggest shoes in the world. The biggest size I've fit in here yet was a size 15 Nike Vapor Maxes, I believe. It was a tight squeeze, but I did get them to fit. So you can fit bigger sizes in here for sure. All right, so once you're at this step, you're gonna take another sheet of bubble wrap, rip it off, and do the same thing on the top. Just cover this side of the shoes as best as you can. Try and tuck it in the sides a little bit. And then take one more sheet and do the same exact thing. And there you go, my friends. It is as simple as that. That's what the finished product's gonna look like before we go ahead and seal it up. Now before we seal it up, I personally like to print off a packing slip. And if you sell your shoes on eBay, they come up with a packing slip for you. So you go to your eBay account, print off the packing slip. I just fold it in half and I usually slide it right there behind the bubble mailer. After I do that, then you're ready to seal it up. Then you take your scale, weigh it, see how much it weighs, and then enter the dimensions of the package plus the weight on the eBay shipping page. And from there you can print off your shipping label. So let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. All right, now I'm getting ready to print off the shipping label. I entered the dimensions, which if you're using these USPS shoe boxes, it's right around 15 by eight by five. So you enter that in the dimension part and then it's gonna ask you for the weight. So obviously for that, you gotta bust out the scale, throw the box on and there we go. Two pounds, 0.4 ounces. I always like to do it like three times just to make sure my scale's not messing up. Two pounds, 0.2 ounces, and we'll do it one more time, just to triple check. Boom. There we go, two pounds, 0.4 ounces. So, now we will head over to, back to the screen, which looks like that. And right here, you guys can see the dimensions, 15 by eight by five, and there, the weight. So for the weight, We'll just put like two pounds, I don't know, five ounces, and then hit update, and it should not change the price at all. There you go, 834 for USPS priority mail package, which is exactly what that shoebox is. So from there, you can obviously add any of this stuff. I don't personally, I don't do signature ad delivery or extra insurance. If you're shipping with USPS, they automatically cover you for a $50 insurance. If you wanna add more, you are free to do so. If you want to do that, you just click on this box right here and you can use something called ship cover or you can just use the normal USPS insurance and you would enter the uh, value of the item right there and then hit add. But like I said, I don't do any of that extra stuff. I haven't had any problems yet, knock on wood, with my uh, products getting to the customers in one piece. So there you can see the details of how much the customer paid for shipping, what the item value is, when the expected shipping date is, or I should say arrival date. And that is all there is to it. Once you're done with that, go to the bottom where it says purchase and print label and click on that. And then if you're gonna print your own shipping labels, you're gonna need something like this, which once again, I'll link below. This is what I use. They're pretty cheap, got them off Amazon. Just looks like that. They work perfect for printing USPS shipping labels. So we'll come over here to the printer, open that thing up, and slide it right in. And then back to the printing screen, it pulls it up as long as it looks good. Hit print. And then it's the waiting game. But if you want to add a packing slip, you can see right next to uh, where it says open label or download label, it says open packing slip. So click on that. And then wait for this dude to do its job. There's the shipping label. So bring that over here. 
and then back over here and there we go you can see the packing slip on this bright green fancy schmancy paper so like i said i just fold this in half slide it behind one of the little uh, bubble mailers right there and then close it tape it up obviously slap on the shipping label and you are good to go so we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick don't need the scale anymore Bada bing, bada boom. Double check, make sure everything looks good. And then like I said, close up the box, tape it up, slap on the shipping label, and you are ready to head to the post office. And boom, that is the finished product, almost. Now we just gotta obviously slap on the shipping label. So peel this guy off, like so. Pick a good spot for it, like right here. And there we go, so easy, a caveman could do it. <laughs> I like to personally put a little strip of tape right here over the uh, barcode. Obviously you don't have to do that step, but it helps protect the barcode and that's the uh, barcode they use to scan it to uh, keep your customer updated with the tracking. Also sometimes put a little strip over the top too. And there we go guys. Finished product. That easy. So now we got this guy, this guy, and I got one more pair of shoes to pack up, and then I'm off to the post office. So that is it, guys. If you have any questions or comments about anything I covered in this video, drop them below, and I'll do my best to help you out with that. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty easy process. I found it's the quickest cheapest and most efficient way to pack up and ship shoes if you're using USPS that is and like I said if the shoes that you're selling don't have the original box so with that said that's a wrap for the video hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it helped you out and I will catch you in the next one enjoy the rest of your day and as always stay limitless Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, they got you, we're only make-believe